Okay. Let's go. Awesome. So recently, Roblox has released the Spartial Voice Chat. Well, voice chat in short to enable this feature you need to go to the right up corner right there there's a setting the gear looking things right there click it and you see the settings click it once you're in here you see the personal here this tab right here under the birthday you see verify my age well my age was being verified so it says that age verified and does not let me click it but if you haven't verified it you might get verified my age about the age verification you need to be over 13 so good luck with that after that to the privacy and you see beta features in the beta feature it says enable voice chat enable it and here you go there's gonna be someone asking me Sizu, why are you making this video i don't see any problem i don't see any major problem with it well technically it's not about voice chat but about the game where it supports the voice chat it felt useless and dangerous One day in the morning, you turn on your PC and the first thing you will ever click is Google Chrome. Upon the Google logo slows in, you are clicking a searching box, typing Roblox, and then you click in it. You then has the access of the voice chat, and so you find a game that supports voice chat. You click the play button and you join in the server. And then when you are thinking that you can talk into another person, you realize something is wrong. Hello? Does anyone help me? Hello? Hey, you. Can you help me? It's gone. Hey, you, you can help me? Hey, mate, you can help me? No, where are you going? This is terrible. No one's gonna talk to you because they don't have my icon beside them in the menu. As a result, they can't hear you. They can't speak to you. And so this creates the scenario where the people who has enabled voice chat thinking that he's talking to the people who does not have the voice chat. They simply can't hear you. I managed to find one in natural disaster. Damn! Damn boy, he sick, boy! And it was really rewarding, I'm telling you. Thank you. Oh, did I mention dangerous from the beginning of video? Seven days ban. How awesome this is. But how do I get banned? I don't even swearing. I don't remember I said this before. You see, hackers can make you say something really bad with a so-called server backdoor exploit. And why those small voice chat games, you already know what happens inside and you don't want to join in. If you do so, you get banned like this. So now we have two problems. Firstly, voice chat being useless in some cases and secondly risk of getting banned by playing so-called voice chat games so let's talk about first problem the voice chat being useless in some cases well technically if we say so roblox never meant to let us talking to the people without voice chat enabled making it impossible to communicate without using keyboard ew can i have a key card please i think you say yes now I can escape the prison in peace. Uh, 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 uh. Back it up! This resolved the problem of people getting abused from people with voice chat enabled. But this causes another issues for voice chat users, which is less interactive with people, especially people with no voice chat. It feels really empty when you're trying to talk to a person and you are talking to yourself. And that's it. You feel lonely in a hundred people's server. <coughs> And so, if we want to fix these issues, then I have a suggestion. Who can speak to me through voice chat? This is really useful, considering if you disable the voice chat to remove the mic bubbles. And then, you also want to hear people talking without you talking to it. So, this is the feature for them, of course. It's given to people who haven't their age been verified. Roblox is considering adding this. It's really a good touch. So, now we have solved the first problem. Now, let's talk about second one. Risk of getting banned from playing voice chat games. Well, just stay away from them as long as you don't play them. And here it goes. That's my guide. Yeah. And one thing that is really funny is that Roblox themselves make a places called Roblox Community Spaces which is on screen right now you can talk to many people with voice chat in this place and you can meet some interesting people like this
<laughs> so do you want to be my multiple? But yet, people still want to play those voice chat games and get themselves banned for 7 days by hackers or developers. Despite, Roblox provides the same experience to us as a player. It's not like you cannot swear on Roblox community space. You can do it as long as it is with him moderation. Besides, what can you do apart from voice chat? Roblox community space also has mini games where you can interact with another player while those games only gives you 7 days of sun blazing through your eyes. Another Roblox game that allows voice chat such as Jailbreak Epic minigame <laughs> Piggy The Wild West <laughs> Robot Tycoon 2 <laughs> Natural Disaster Survival Oh no! Work at a pizza place <laughs> The Mimic <laughs> And more games which will support spartial voice chat in the future It's clear to say that there is no reason to risk your account on them when you can play those amazing games with chance of meeting voice chat players Considering heat of voice chat is decreasing over a month Those games will potentially be forgotten or removed by Roblox themselves Roblox Spartial Voice Chat is a technology that pushes Roblox communication to its limit. It is a feature which allows people to interact each other with their own voices. Even though Voice Chat currently is in beta, it is still a great addition for entire Roblox communities. Remember back in September when Roblox announced Spartial Voice Chat, people thought it was a bad idea. But now look at this, people seem to enjoy it apart from playing funny music and screaming and crying hoping someone to notice them. After all, Voice Chat isn't that bad at all, right? Senpai! Uh, oh yeah. Hey yo, what the f-